Welcome back guys to another one and I have so much new cool stuff I want to show you. Today let's have a look at Alpenfo's new 2080 RGB all-in-one cooler. The direct translation would be glacier water and what's even more important is the fact that it was made in collaboration with the Bauer. So yeah, very nice. Alpefone were teasing this new AIO series of theirs for some time now and I must say that the wait has paid off. The Glacier Water is a premium all-in-one cooling solution with full RGB for the fans and the pump. They come with the Wing Boost 3 ARGB fans and even with the Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut Thermal Paste. Then for a cool party trick you can even change the logo plates. My 28mm variant retails for around 170 quid and of course they do a 240 and a 360 variant as well. Also, I will link everything for you guys below in the description. The front of the packaging illustrates the actual product with a vivid color palette to emphasize the RGB implementation. The labeling is minimal but effective and easy to follow. The most important bit is of course that collaboration with the famous overclocker Der Bauer and that it comes with a Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut Thermal Paste. On the back we have the full specs for the radiator, pump and fans. Also notice the hand signature by the quality control agent under the barcode. Very nice. On this side we have all of the main highlights and the socket checklist. It's impressive to see that it even supports the big Threadripper sockets as well. Here we have a quick diagram with the overall radiator and pump dimensions. Finally this side just released the socket compatibility list in a more visual way. It's very nice to see that even the good old LGA1366 is supported for those who want to push those epic 6 core Xeons on the legendary X58 platform to the absolute limit. Now guys, this is how you package and protect an AIO. This reminds me of those professional military grade Pelican custom cases. Everything is divided into their own boxes and labeled accordingly. All of the installation parts that you need are divided into separate socket labeled Ziploc bags. Then Alpenfone kindly provides even an RGB remote control and a SATA power sensor system just to make sure you can enjoy the addressable lighting show on older platforms. Otherwise you get an Y adapters that will let you connect directly to your motherboard's 5V RGB header and then just control everything via software. The instruction manual is straight to the point and very easy to follow. Then this is where you take over and be creative with the look of the pump because you can replace the main logo plates with these 4 extra ones. Now this is the premium thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly which even comes with its branded spatula for ease of application. Now behold the all sleek black radiator which is made from aluminium. The pump's operating range is between 1200 and 2600 rpm and it's powered via a 3 pin plug. This is the stock lid and the top film protector shows how to replace the plate by just rotating the top ring cap. One twist later you can now access the plate. The overall build quality is excellent with no flaws or unfinished areas. The diamond ground copper base plate of the pump possesses a large area of micro channels as they call it to dissipate the waste heat of the CPU into the cooling circuit quickly and efficiently. Zooming in we can see the finishing is very smooth and you can barely see the circular machining marks. It takes power from the motherboard via this 3 pin plug while the other port is for the RGB. The tubes are 41 cm long and are perfectly sleeve and ooze of premium and quality materials. Finally, the Wing Boost 3 ARGB 140mm fans are built on fluid dynamic bearings and will spin between 50 to 2000 rpm. The 11 blades feature an aggressive geometry with 3 ribs on each one, which overall helps with better airflow, static pressure and high speed stability. They have these extra thick rubber pads on each corner for maximum vibration reduction and the overall frame construction looks reinforced. Ok, installation time. Make sure that your case will accept this radiator size. I'm only mentioning this because my testing case is a bit weird in dimensions as in it's very wide but not that tall nor long. Hence why on camera it may look cramped but that's due to the case in question and not the Glacier Water 280mm AIO being too big. Now with that out of the way, just secure the radiator with the included Philips short screws and make sure that the fans are placed with the wires exiting towards the motherboard for a cleaner wire management. Then keep the stock AM4 motherboard backplate after you remove the stock side brackets. Then attach these special hybrid threaded bolts with spacers included. 
Next step is to attach the metal AM4 corresponding brackets onto the CPU black pump unit, making sure that those bulges from the plates are facing downwards, like the same direction as the contact plate. Apply the thermal paste and then attach the pump to the socket. After that, just screw down the bolts in an X pattern to evenly distribute the mounting pressure. Then connect the pump to the CPU or the AIO header on the motherboard and the fans to the Y adapter that also connects to the motherboard. Regarding the ARGB for both the pump and fans, everything connects to a 4-way included 5V RGB splitter which you plug to any available motherboard 5V port or the remote module. Overall, it was really easy to install the Alpenforn Glacier Water 280mm AIO, even in this weird case. Before we jump in the tests, let's finally see the rainbow. As you can see, the colors really pop out and are extremely vivid. Of course, you can fully control these to your likings via software or the handy remote control if they are used on the manual mode. Then this is how the other plates look like when installed. Personally, you can't go wrong here, anything looks cool. Now let's see how it performs. This setup is the same as I have done before in my previous reviews. I'm using the Ryzen 7 1700, which will be overclocked to 3.7 GHz for 1.325 volts. All the CPU fans will be left on the standard RPM curve to simulate real-life usage patterns, and the same for the AIO pump. The side panel is of course attached, and the front case fans will be set at a fixed 30% RPM. First up, we have the Cinebench R15 test. On the left, we have the CPU in stock form, while on the right, we have it overclocked. Well, the Glacier Water takes the lead over the Pure Loop 20mm AIO, which is the only water cool system in the charts, because the fans have a higher CFM and static pressure than the other. Thus, we have a new champion in my charts. Then in R20, the overall hierarchy is preserved and the differences aren't that big, but still, it's a win. In ADA64, we isolate the stress test just for the CPU, therefore we should get the highest stress scenario for the CPU. Even here, the Glacier Water keeps its lead. Gaming-wise, since I'm using an older GPU because I can't buy anything due to the shortages and the game itself isn't pushing the CPU as much as synthetic benchmarks, the numbers here will be excellent across everything in the charts. Regarding the noise level, have a listen for yourself. Basically, as long as you don't go over 70-80% RPM, it will be fairly quiet, which is great considering that these are 140mm fans that ramp up all the way to 2000 RPM. Well, there you have it guys, Alpenphone fully delivers with this new Glacier Water Premium AIO in all of the areas that count, namely cooling performance, build quality, decent noise output and ease of installation. Those supplied fans are really good and despite the fact that they spin all the way to 2000 RPM, which is a lot for a 140mm fan, they'll only be noticeable above 70-80% RPM. I love the RGB implementation, it's brilliant and it's very vivid and of course you can be controlled via software or manually via the supplied remote and sensor system. Then that extra touch of character that comes with the modular top plate for the pump is highly welcome. All in all, as per the category, this truly is an all-in-one CPU cooling solution. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Alex out.